Let's go, kids! J-pop na! Yay! Welcome to J12 Kids. It's Light TV. Thank you for becoming a channel of blessing to us in spreading the word of God. And to our dear parents, we are so excited to have fun with you today with your kids. As Proverbs 22 verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way that he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's why today we want to encourage you to really engage your children and to get to know more about the Bible together with the stories in it because they will carry it as they grow up and also don't forget to post and take a selfie with us and use the hashtag hashtag j12kids hashtag j12kids at like tvph and hashtag like tvph ayos ba yon? ayos by the way i'm kuya brian and we are now on our last topic for this series our series is the love of God. At una natin naging topic ay letter L which stands for long-suffering, O for one of a kind, V for victorious. And now, our lesson for letter E, God's love is eternal. Wow! Panghabang buhay na ito. Pero bago yan, nais kong i-share din sa inyo ang ating memory verse. In Psalms 139 verse 13, it says, You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. Wow! Ulitin pa natin ng isang beses. In Psalms 139 verse 13, it says, You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. Wow! Ganon tayo kamahal at kakilala ng ating Panginoon. Handang-handa na siya bago pa tayo pinanganak. Ganon niya tayo kamahal. Pero ngayon nga ba, paano natin malalaman ang pagmamahal na eternal ng ating Panginoon? Malalaman natin yan sa ating storytelling. Handa na ba kayo, kids? Ayos! So, tara na! Makinig tayo sa ating storytelling. Eto na sila! Mano po? Dahil walang hanggan ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa ating kids. Hi kids! Welcome sa ating Bible Story Time. Alam ko excited na kayo. Pwede mo bang tanungin sa katabi mo kung excited na siya? Mukhang excited ka na nga. Bago ang lahat, Ako nga pala si Kuya Domingo o tawagin nyo na lang Kuya Dom. 
Ang ating memory verse for today is Psalm chapter 139, verse 13. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. At sabay-sabay nating panoorin ang story ni Maria at Elizabeth. Tara kids, samahan niyo ako. Ang pagdalaw ni Maria kay Elizabeth. Hindi nagtagal at si Maria ay nagmamadaling pumunta sa isang bayan sa bulubundukin ng Judah. Pagdating sa bahay ni Zacharias, binati niya si Elizabeth. Nang marinig ni Elizabeth ang pagbati ni Maria, biglang gumalaw ang sanggol sa kanyang sinapupunan at siya ay may napuspos ng Espiritu Santo. Bago tayo magsimula sa susunod, sagutin muna natin ito, kids. Sino ang dumalaw sa babaeng pinagpala sa lahat? A. Maria B. Elizabeth Ang tamang sagot ay B. Elizabeth Napasigaw siya sa gala. Pinagpala ka sa mga babae at pinagpala rin ang dinadala mo sa iyong sinapupunan. Sino ako upang dalawin ang ina ng aking Panginoon? Sapagkat pagkarinig ko ng iyong pagbati ay gumalo sa tuwa ang sanggol sa aking sinapupunan. Susunod na tanong, ano ang nangyari sa tiyan ni Maria matapos batiin ni Elizabeth ito? A. Gumalaw O B. Hinipo Ang tabong sagot ay A. Gumalaw Pinagpala ka sapagkat sumasampalataya kang matutupad ang pinapasabi sa iyo ng Panginoon. Wow! Nakakamangha naman ang story ni Maria at Elizabeth. Nakinig ka ba? Hmm? Huwag nakinig ka. Di natin mapapantayan ang pagmamahal ni Lord. Kailangan natin magmahalan upang magkaroon tayo ng pag-ibig o walang hanggang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hanggang sa susunod nating pagkikita, kids. Paalam! Sweet and marvelous, the love of Jesus. Sweet and marvelous, the love of Jesus. Sweet and marvelous, oh, oh, wonderful love. Higher than the sky, deeper than the ocean, wider than the universe, oh, oh, Activity time! Here are our materials for today. Ruler, crayons or coloring pastels, pencil, glue, at scissors. Mag-ingat kids sa paggamit ng gunting. Pwede tayong humingi ng tulong kay kuya, ate, mommy, or daddy natin. At use folder. Guhitan natin yung use folder natin para makagawa tayo ng letter E. Ito ay may habang 12 inches. Ito naman ay 7 inches. Ito naman ay 4 inches. 
at ito naman ay 2.4 inches. After natin guhitan yung used folder ng letter E, guntingin natin ito. Yan, gumupit lamang tayo ng dalawang letter E. After natin gumawa ng dalawang letter E, isantabi mo na natin to. Kumuha naman tayo ng isa pang used folder. Kuhitan natin to pahaba ng dalawang linya. At sa loob ng dalawang linya, merong width na 3 inches. Sa loob ng 3 inches, lagyan natin ng magkabilang dulo ng isa pang linya na mayroong width na 0.5 inch para ka lang gagawa ng isang malaking rectangle. Pero, after mong gumawa ng apat na malaking rectangle, guguntingin po natin to. Ito na po yung apat na malalaking rectangle. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ngayon po, kukunin natin yung mga rectangles na ginawa natin at saka yung letter E. Imi-measure natin yung sides ng letter E sa mga rectangles na ginawa natin. Gayahin lamang po natin yung video na to. So, yung mga nilagyan po nating linya nung minessure natin yung sides ng letter E, guguntingin natin yon ng 0.5 inch. After natin guntingin yung mga marka na may halong 0.5 inch, ifo-fold naman po natin sila. After po nun, ifo-fold naman po natin yung mga gilid ng rectangle. Gagawin po natin to sa apat na rectangles na kinot po natin kanina. After po natin i-fold yung mga rectangle, pagdikitin po natin yung mga gilid at ganito po yung magiging itsura nila. Ngayon, kunin po natin yung isang letter E at idikit po natin isa-isa yung mga rectangles na nagawa po natin. Ito na po yung magiging finished product po natin. Pwede po natin silang lagyan ng design, pwede po natin silang koloran, or lagyan ng mga hearts katulad po nito. Hello everyone! Welcome to J12 Devotion with Destiny. Today I will be reading Psalm 139, verse 13 to 18. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because you are to be feared. All you do is strange and wonderful. I know it with all my heart. When my bones were being formed, carefully put it together in my mother's womb. When I was growing there in secret, you knew that I was there. You saw me before I was born. The days allotted to me had all been recorded in your book before any of them ever began. Oh God, 
How difficult I find your thoughts. How many of them there are. If I counted them, they would still be more than the grains of sand. When I am away, I am still with you. The application is that God has always loved you and me. He knew me before I was even born. His love for me is never ending. Don't forget our memory verse for today. Psalm 139, verse 13. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for choosing us before we were even born. You have it all prepared for us, for our life. May we walk in the path that you have prepared for us. Use us for your great good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye everyone. See you next week. Thank you so much, Ate Destiny, for our devotion for today. At napakaganda ng ating topic ngayong araw na ito. God's love is eternal. As we can see, ang pagmamahal niya sa atin ay hindi lang nagsimula no tayo ay pinanganak. Even before we are born, kinilala na tayo ng ating Panginoon. At hanggang ngayong araw na ito, minamahal at inaalagaan niya tayo. Because our God's love is eternal. Kagaya na sinasabi sa ating memory verse in Psalms 139 verse 13, You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. Kaya kilalang kilala tayo ng ating Panginoon. At sinasabi pa nga niya sa ibang verses that He even knows the number of our hairs. Ganong kanya kamahal. Kaya lagi natin tatandaan Pagmamahal sa atin ng Panginoon ay hindi lang sa, sa umpisa, kundi hanggang dulo at bawat parte ng ating buhay. So kids, tayo na'y manalangin. Father, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagmamahal. Salamat po dahil kinilala nyo kami. Alam nyo po yung aming buhay simula umpisa hanggang dulo. Salamat po dahil ginawa nyo kami. Kami po ay niligtas nyo at kami ay pinorm nyo. Salamat po sa pagmamahal nyo that, in, that have long sufferings that is one of a kind that is victorious and that is eternal. Thank you Lord for your love. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen! Maraming salamat sa pagsali sa ating series na ito at na-enjoy nyo ba ang ating mga topics for this whole month? Ayos! So, Marami pa tayong malalaman na ganyang series or topics. Pero bago yun, nais ko kayong imbitahan na mag-selfie at mag-post. At gamitin nyo ang mga hashtag, hashtag J12Kids, hashtag J12Kids at LightTVPH, and hashtag LightTVPH. Ayos ba yun? Ayos! So, see you again next week ha! Dito lang yan sa J12Kids! Bye-bye! Thank you for tuning in with us here at J12 Kids. If you want more of these videos, visit us on our YouTube page at City Sanctuary TV. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for updates. You may also follow us through our Facebook page and Instagram account, City Sanctuary and El Shalom Church. We highly encourage you to spread the word of God throughout the web as we believe that no one should be left behind. We also would like to connect with you. If there is anything you want to ask or pray for, feel free to message us. Make sure to invite your family and friends. God bless you and have a great week ahead.